Hello everyone, welcome back. So we are uh, doing geometry of CAT series and in this series we are discussing points and lines in a triangle. So we have already done few videos on that and this is going to be the fourth and last video on points and lines in a triangle. So a quick recap, there are four different kind of lines in a triangle. One of them is median that divides any side into two equal parts drawn from opposite vertex. Another is angle bisector that divides any angle of the triangle into two equal parts and meet opposite side. Then comes altitude which is drawn perpendicular from one of the vertex to opposite side. And then comes perpendicular bisector that is a line which is bisecting a side as well as perpendicular to it okay so these are the four different lines okay now let's go to the questions first question it says in the given figure median be is equal to 12 cf is equal to 18 centimeter the acute angle between them is 30 degree the acute angle between them means this angle is 30 degree the area of the triangle ABC, we need to find the area of the triangle. So, what do we know about medians in a triangle? That whenever two medians intersect each other, the intersection point is represented as G and called as centroid. And a centroid divides a median into 2 is to 1 ratio from vertex to base. So, in that case, we can say that bg upon ge will be equal to cg upon gf is equal to this will be 2 upon 1. Now think about this that if we say b is equal to 12 this is 2x this is x so 3x is equal to 12 so x is equal to 4 so ge will be 4 bg will be 8 similarly gf will be one third of cf and cf is given which is 18 so this will be 6 and cg will be 12. Now we need to find area of the triangle now again how do we find area of the triangle in this case so we know one more property regarding a triangle and their medians that in any triangle the medians and the centroid divides a triangle into six triangles of equal area if all of these are medians and their intersection point is centroid so if we are able to find area of any of these triangle then we can multiply it by six and we get the area of triangle so how do we find so either we can find area of triangle bgf or we can find area of triangle cge or we can find area of triangle BGC all of this will help us finding the area of triangle ABC so what will be area of triangle CGE area of triangle CGE will be equal to half of now again in a triangle if two sides and angle between them is given then we can use area of triangle is equal to half AB sin C formula. So in that case, we can say it will be half of GC into GE into sin 30 degree. Now you can see how much important this concept is. So 1 by 2 GC will be 12, GE will be 4 and sin 30 is nothing but 1 by 2. 1 by 2 1 by 2 cancelled out this gives us 12 centimeter square now if triangle gce has an area of 12 centimeter square what we can say about area of triangle abc this will be equal to 6 into area of triangle cge as shown in the figure so this will be 6 into 12 centimeter square or we can say our answer is 72 centimeter square which is option a 
Now, the next question it says find the sum of squares of the medians AD and CF drawn from two acute angle vertices of the right angle triangle ABC where AC is equal to 10. Now see angle A is acute angle, angle C is acute angle, two medians are drawn. So BD is equal to DC and AE is equal to BE. AC has been given which is equal to 10. We need to find, we need to find sum of squares of the median means CE square plus AD square. Now how do we find? With respect to median, there is a very important concept which is known as Apollonius theorem. What is Apollonius theorem? So with respect to median AD, we can say that AB square plus <coughs> AC square, AB square plus AC square is equal to 2 times BD square plus AD square like this okay and then we can also say that with respect to median CE what we can say median CE k respective it will be AC square plus BC square is equal to 2 times AE square plus CE square right so from there we can say that AB square if I add these two equations we get AB square plus AC square plus 2 times this will be AB square plus BC square plus 2 times AC square is equal to now this will be now look look for this this will be 2 times AD square plus CE square now A is AD square plus C square is what we want plus now what is BD? BD is equal to BC by 2. BD is equal to BC by 2. So BD square will be BC by 2 square or BC square by 4. So we can write this 2 BD square as BC square by 2 plus what we can write A, A will be AB square, A will be AB by 2 or A square will be AB square by 4 into 2. So AB square upon 2. This we got. Now think about this. This is already AB square plus BC square. Using Pythagoras theorem, we can say this will be AC square. So this will be 3 times AC square minus now BC square plus AB square again we can write it as AC square so minus AC square divided by 2 is equal to 2 times AD square plus CE square from there we can say this will be 5 times AC square upon this 2 bring here so it will be 4 is equal to AD square plus CE square now AC has been given. What is AC? AC is nothing but 10. So AC square will be 100. We can say that AD square plus C square is equal to 5 by 4 into 100 which is equal to 25 or we can say this will be 125 centimeter square. This is what we want, right? This is what we want. Find the sum of square. This should be square here. That's a mistake. So 125 centimeter square is our answer. Now from next time, I have I have solved this question completely. From next time, you can remember that the medians drawn to acute angles. Okay, squares of medians, which is AD square plus AC square, will be equal to 5 by 4 times AC square. Now you can use this directly whenever you see this type of questions. Okay. Next question it says in a triangle ABC, AB is equal to 6 units, BC is equal to 12 units 
एंड सी ए इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन यूनिट ए डी इज एंगल बाई सेक्टर ऑफ एंगल ए एंड आई इज द इन सेंटर फाइंड ए आई इज टू आई डी सो ट्राइंगल हैज बिन गिवेन विच इज समिंग लाइक दिस ए बी एंड सी ए बी इज गिवेन सिक्स बी सी इज ट्वेल्व एंड ए सी इज सिक्सटीन ए डी इज द एंगल बाई सेक्टर समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस एंगल इज थीटर दिस एंगल इज ऑल्सो थीटर दिस इज डी नाउ इट सीज आई इज द एंगल बाई सेक्टर सो आई इज द इन सेंटर वट इज इन सेंटर इन अ ट्राइंगल इन सेंटर इज नथिंग बट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ एंगल बाई सेक्टर सो ए डी इज द एंगल बाई सेक्टर सो कैन वी से दैट द एंगल बाई सेक्टर आई विल समेयर लाइ ऑन द लाइन ए डी ऑन द एंगल बाई सेक्टर ना हाउ डू यू फाइंड ए आई डिवाइडेड बाय आई डी सो ए आई डिवाइड बाय आई डी is it's very simple it's ab plus ac divided by bc now what is ab ab is equal to 6 ac is equal to 16 bc is equal to 12 from there we can say it's 18 not 18 it's 22 divided by 12 or this is 11 upon 6 so our answer is option a all right now next question so in the given triangle abc ab is equal to 8 cm angle bac is 60 degree if ac is 10 cm then find the length of bc in cm so let's draw the triangle a b c ab is 8 ac is 10 angle bac this is 60 degree we need to find what we need to find is the length of bc in centimeter so two sides are known in this case right we have two sides and we need to find the third side so how do we find it we can use cosine formula what is cosine formula cosine formula says that cos a is equal to ab square Plus AC square minus BC square divided by two AB into AC. Now let's use this. So what is cos? We need to take cos sixty degree is equal to AB is eight, AC is ten minus BC square divided by two into eight into ten. So from there. What is cos sixty degree? It's nothing but one by two is equal to. This will be one sixty four minus b c square divided by this will be one sixty. <coughs> this is nothing but eighty. So we can say one sixty four minus b c square is equal to eighty, or b c square is also equal to. 80, not 80. It will be 184. So from there we can find BC. So what is 84? 84 is nothing but 4 into 21. So square root of 84, 4 into 21, 4 square root is 2. So it will be 2 into 21 centimeter, which is option C. Okay. <coughs> now let's go to the next question let triangle abc be the equilateral triangle <coughs> and the point p in it is such that the perpendicular distances from the sides bc ab and ac are pd p and pf lengths are given which are 6 8 and 10 cm respectively find the median of the equilateral triangle abc so in any equilateral triangle if we talk about a point p something like this let's say this is a p and c this is point p then perpendicular distances from p will be something like this all of these are perpendicular distances what are those distances so pd this let's say this is pd pe and p 
pf is 10 so 6 8 and 10 these are given how do we find the median of this equilateral triangle so in any equilateral triangle we know that the length of the altitude the length of the height or the median or the length of perpendicular bisector or the length of angle bisectors all the lengths are equal so if you are able to find the altitude or the height of uh, equilateral triangle then you get the median so in this triangle how do we find that so let's try to join these points something like this okay so can we say that in any equilateral triangle the area is 3 by 4 a square where a is side length all these sides are a because equilateral triangle all the sides will be equal is equal to now half of a into height triangle bpc triangle bpc what will be the area half into a into 8 so half into 8a plus in triangle apc what will be the area half into what is base so base is now this is one second this is not 10 so ac is a and height is 10 so a into 10 plus half into in this case height is 6 base is a so these are equal this should be equal now this will be equal to root 3 by 4 a square take 1 by 2 a common so this will give us 8 plus 10 plus 6 right now a cancelled out 2 cancelled out so from there we get root 3 by a upon 2 is equal to 18 plus 6 24 so a is equal to 48 upon root 3 centimeter now in any equilateral triangle if you draw if you draw the median or the altitude right this will be the altitude this will be the median this will be angle bisector as well so if this is a h what is the length of the height length of height in any, any equilateral triangle is equal to root 3 by 2 a where a is the side length so this will be equal to root 3 by 2 into 48 upon root 3 so this is cancelled out what do we get 24 upon 2 which is equal to 24 centimeter hence option b is our answer okay so you can see in one questions one question we are getting to learn getting to learn so many things so many different concepts of geometry so i hope you are enjoying these videos if you have any kind of feedback then let me know in the comments i'll be back with the next video on geometry for cat series very soon